we find out um, that the army of huntsmen were built by Freya, the, the evil ice queen who steals these children and builds up her own army in a twisted uh, uh, sort of motherly way and, and she thinks she's protecting them by uh, uh, bestowing upon them the one rule, do not love. And she thinks by keeping love out of their lives then they, uh, they'll uh, prevent themselves from, from harm in the future. Charlize's performance in the first film I thought was incredible and, and, and stole the film uh, as far as I was concerned and was hugely excited that she was coming back and going to be a part of this one. Um, and we, we learned a lot about her history and, and, and the way you, <clears throat> you know, she had quite a horrific upbringing which led her on this path of, of, of destruction and, and power and, and has a hatred towards men in particular for what that they had done to her. And so there's, you feel empathy with that villain in a lot of ways, I think, which makes for um, a far more interesting and compelling uh, a character in those relationships. Ravenna and Freya are sisters, and uh, at the beginning of the film we learn that uh, due to something horrific happening to Freya, uh, something extremely tragic, she loses a child, that pain unleashes her, her this great power within her um, and, and ability to to um, manipulate ice and, and, and water and snow and, and control elements and um, and there is this 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 warring relationship between the two of them love hate relationship there's a lot of dark secrets that you know, each other doesn't know um, but you know together are an absolute force to be reckoned with and and one that the huntsman and, and his wife, Sarah, need to uh, take down in some way. The mirror, I think, represents a whole lot of different things and themes for different people, you know, um, vanity and ego and, 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 and power, but that it is a source of great power, um, an evil power, and th I think the... <laughs> the good side want to attain it to destroy it and hide it from the world or not allow it to fall into the wrong hands and the <laughs> bad side the evil queens want to use it um to conquer all and and to to enhance their own powers and strengths there was a great chemistry that existed between all of us i think we all did truly love the material and were excited to be a part of the film and i was excited to uh, you know, I'd done very uh, male-dominated, heavy kind of films, you know, in the past, and, and uh, it was nice to <laughs> not be surrounded by all that testosterone and, you know, bravado. Um, and, uh, but, you know, a whole different strength in spades with these, these, these women, just, you know, hugely talented. I think audience will, will connect with it because it's, it's a classic epic adventure tale and and the kind of films I grew up on in Never Ending Story and Princess Bride and, and Labyrinth and so on I feel and Willow I, I feel like ha it totally has a lot of those things you know there's the fantasy but there is a huge amount of heart at the center of it and there's certainly action and you have these warring queens but there's a there's a strong love story in there as well I think we got much more specific with all of those themes than we had um, prior did you know that The Hateful Eight with three words is the longest title for a film directed by Quentin Tarantino? All the titles of his previous films only consisted of two words. For example, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Inglorious Bastards, Django Unchained or Kill Bill. What's your favorite movie directed by Tarantino? Let me know in the comments below and click here for more cool videos. Thanks for watching. See ya!